Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the IRR concept to evaluate a cash flow when you're borrowing money as opposed to actually uh, investing. So when you're borrowing money, you typically have an initial negative cash flow or initial positive cash flow followed by a set of negative cash flows. And this in this example, let's say you want to purchase a car and you want to borrow, you have the option to borrow um, let's say $5,000 from a dealer and uh, you can repay um, at the rate of $2,000 every year for the next three years. Um, so let's just plot those cash flows. So initially you um, borrow $5,000 and then you repay $2,000 every year thereafter. And I'm just going to copy it like this. Now, the other alternative is that you can borrow this $5,000 from a bank at 9% interest rate. So you want to see if it is a good option to borrow the money from the car dealer or borrow it from the bank. To do that, we will compute the internal rate of return for these cash flows, IRR, and I'm just going to select all of them and give us 10% guess rate and what you see is there is a 9.7 percent internal rate of return that applies to these cash flows now is that good or bad now if you were investing this money and you were earning this money at the end of various years from your investment then your 9.7 percent is greater than let's say the money that you would earn in the bank which is nine percent but so so it would be good but in this case you're actually borrowing this money and re repaying this money in the next three years and your internal rate of return is higher than the bank interest rate so this is actually bad for you so actually borrowing money and on these terms from the car dealer is actually bad for you because its internal rate of return at 9.7 percent is higher than the interest rate that you will earn by borrowing from the bank and to see that let's estimate the cash flow from the bank and if you were to borrow this money from the bank you would borrow 5000 in the beginning and i'm going to use the pmt function to estimate how much you'll pay on an annual basis the interest rate is nine percent the number of periods is three because you're repaying in three years the present value is what you borrow initially the future value is zero because you intend to repay the full amount and the type here we want to say zero because you repay these um, dollar amounts at the end of each year instead of at the beginning so i'll put it zero again and complete the parenthesis so you will be repaying 1975 dollars every year if you were to borrow at nine percent and just so that we can copy this further down i'm just going to apply the dollar you know absolute cell reference by i just click on that particular cell and press f4 and uh, i click here inside b1 and press f4 again and that will result in the cell references being absolute and from then i can just copy this further down like this by clicking and dragging the fill handle and you can see that each year i pay 1975 which is lower than the two thousand dollars i would pay with the car dealer so that gives us further confirmation that borrowing from the bank is a better option another way to look at this is to compute the net present value of the dealers uh, you know of the cash flow of your cash flow when you borrow from the dealer at a nine percent bank interest rate and you will see that will be negative so equals five thousand plus npv of the bank interest rate and these cash flows and you can see it's actually negative now, another way to look at this is to compute the internal rate of return of the bank cash flows, and it will be exactly 9%. It will be exactly 9%. And the net present value of this at the bank interest rate will be zero. It is zero. So all this confirms what we are saying. So the essence of this um, 
concept is that if you are evaluating a loan to yourself, then your internal rate of return should be lower than or equal to what you can get, the interest rate you can get from an alternative source such as a bank. 